Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today, we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. We are in Chapter 11, Creeping Darkness. Now, I don't think that there is much inventory stuff that I need to do. I think there's some stuff that we can sell. So maybe we'll do that. I think we had two items that we could sell. One that we stole, red gem. An uncommon gemstone worth 2,500 gold. And I believe one of our new characters had something like that white gem right there. Hold on, let me just read this. Yeah, okay, it doesn't do anything else. There we go. We have ourselves a lot more money now. Let's go ahead and check out our items. We probably need some more iron swords. Getting another iron lance might not be a bad idea. More bows, probably. Okay, two of those. Ooh, I'm gonna buy a hammer. Improves critical hit rate for the short bow. Is this also, no, this one's a range two, so it's not a melee range short bow. Interesting, so short bow is a crit bow. Hit 85, might five. really expensive. You know, I probably should buy another heal as well. Where were we able to buy those? I think at this shop we might actually be able to buy them. 
We have a mend in our back line, but we don't have another heal. Okay, a couple more vulneraries. And I think that's all. Okay, I think we'll outfit everybody. Once we see what we're kind of looking at up here. Care Pellin, let's go. The Care Pellin Range. According to Ewan, a little known passage to Johanna lies there within its cracked red bedrock and knife-edged peaks. To avoid Carcino and combat, Erica's troops take the mountain path. They begin climbing higher and higher towards Carepelin. Unbeknownst to the group, hordes of dark creatures now roam the peaks. It's a fog map. We're almost there, come on. My teacher lives just up ahead. Slow down, Ewan. Let's stick together. This fog's getting thick. I don't expect any more surprise att uh, I don't expect any more surprise attacks, but that doesn't mean we... Quit worrying, mister. You're gonna get left behind. Don't speak to me, boy. I don't tolerate insolence. Chill, Eins. Chill. Eins, he's only a child. There's no reason to be so rude. He is helping us, after all. That's right, without me, you'd never get where you're going. So, come on already. Stop. Don't take another step. Huh? Th that's gonna make it awfully hard to get where we need to go. What do you know about that fork? It looks like it's been abandoned for some time. Is anyone using it? Nope, it's really run down. Nobody ever goes there. It's been empty for ages. I've been inside, so I know. Is that right? Then what's that sound? Where is it coming from? Huh? What sound? Hey, you're right. I do hear a weird noise. You can hear that? Neat! You've got really good hearing. I wonder what it is. There it is again. Prince, is this? Erica. Yes? Get your troops ready. Tell them to prepare for battle. We've been spotted. Monsters are coming. Ewan, it's dangerous here. Get behind me. No way, I'm gonna fight too. No, you're too young. You're not ready for this. Are you going to do as I say or not? I don't know what I would do if you were to get injured. Okay. What spacious chambers. Oh, uh, she's one short. One of her people abandoned her. So rude. La Rachel. A bit musty, but I like it. I've decided we'll bed here for the night. I do wonder where Renak disappeared to. I told him not to wander off, but... Huh. Lady Rachel, this could be trouble. What is it, Dazla? Look there, through that break in the fog. Looks like we've got some nasty creatures running about this place. I can't see a thing. But this can be nothing but good fortune shining down on us again. Losing our way in the mountains and running into these abominations? There can be no doubt, we were brought here to destroy these foul things. Come, Dazla, we fight! <laughs> My heart cries out for battle. <laughs> okay, they are one hell of a pair right there, aren't they? Okay, so we're gonna be fighting monsters. We're gonna need some chests. Some people in some comments told me that, um... Um, they told me that, what am I trying to say? Words are hard. Um, our thief can actually
are thief. What am I trying to say? <laughs> okay, thieves. Yes, let's go to their inventory. They can use whatchamacallit. My goodness, like, I swear I'm not having a stroke. But I might be having a stroke. They're really effective with torches. That's what I'm trying to say. Good God. I need more coffee, clearly. All right, Colm, you're coming into this fight. Do you have anybody who's maxing out any stats or anything? So. Okay. Who's our highest level right now? You're level 12. You're level 16, Franz. Wow, dude. You're level 15. Tethys should come into this map. Um, just because I won't know where a lot of uh, attacks are going to be coming from. I could argue the same thing about Amelia. But I really want to get her to level 10 so that she can rank out of her base class of recruit. That'd be really nice. That goddess icon could be useful. You've got a hero crest. What level did you come in at? Five? It's gonna be get harder and harder for us to pick our main team. There's lots of good characters here that I wanna use. <laughs> Came in at a level 10 mercenary. Okay. Is that oh okay torches show up here oh I see this torch can only be used by yeah okay gotcha it's not a regular torch the 
Natasha needs to use it. You'll be able to convoy another iron sword, so I'm not going to worry about that. Doubt Armor Slayer is going to be useful here. Set up. Now, how do I know if one is ready? You know what I mean? Like, I'm wondering if I have any that are ready that I just haven't noticed on the map yet. I haven't really been doing too much with supports, if I'm being real, have I? Effective. Okay, 
way, he'll probably go after Calm. He should be pretty dodgy where he's at, so... Poison. Their defense and resistance are both garbage. He hits hard. Adelax. Nice, Dazla. Yeah, I'm going to assume that I need to move somewhat fast here to help them. Yeah, block that door. Okay, the people in this room didn't move. That's good for us. Dodge. Okay, you would be able to get to this spot. Let's see if we can give Amelia a kill.
I'm gonna regret not having more um, torches, huh? I at least have uh, the torch on my healer, but that's not my favorite thing in the world. Oh, no! Okay, he was able to double. Very nice. Damn, that crit chance. I don't like the... 12 might back. Not that far away from my healer. Okay, well, since we can't get it done anyway, soften it up. Okay, you would not be able to get the kill by yourself. Good. Great. Good job, Tana. Franz is on such a roll. Freaking Ross is over here. Probably soloing this damn map. You didn't have to take that hit, Tana. Just saying.
Oh, you get a longbow. Is that reinforcements over here? Why do they always do that? Why do they gotta do that to me? <laughs> Very nice. No chance of getting poisoned. Yeah, hit chances aren't the best. So, Evil Eye is magic-based, right? Yeah, it looks like it's dark magic. Okay. dog thing up here. I guess he can come down this way to get in. Okay. actually a little too effective right now. It might get him killed. Finish this guy off so I can change directions on you. Oh, look at that demon, bro. It. Oh my god, thank goodness. I mean, that means that we'll survive this turn. If both of them had landed, we'd be resetting right now.
Okay, he'll be able to hit that, which will make him harder to hit, but... I think Ainz has pretty good accuracy, so he'll be able to pop him, I think. Dodge. I need to make informed decisions here. They're doing okay so far. Percent on that is not bad. Not good enough, but not bad. Oh wow, there's a lot. I wonder if we would have gotten a double if that hadn't broke. Weapons. Do they have... None of them have javelins. Okay. How much damage can you do? This is for Joshua, then. Yeah, only 
only one of them will be able to attack there. Um, let's see, if I put you here... these guys. Go ahead, try and hurt Ross. If they got lucky enough, they probably could kill him. But they're 40% and we already missed the first one, so... As long as there's not 30 more of those guys up in the fog, then um, I don't think that they'll get the opportunity. Okay, cool. Every miss makes me more comfortable. <laughs> I'm hoping that's the last one. So good. I wonder if bows are effective against those guys. They're a winged creature. Wouldn't surprise me. guys are beefy. Very nice. What is she at now? Taking 14. It would make um um let's see, hit percentage is 77. Your hit probably is not great with a javelin, 64. Eh, it's a long shot. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Let's see what Tana uh, can do. good chance.
this guy? The Death Goyle and Gargoyle. Really high defense. Hit him with magic, though. That might be our answer to that, is you. things, doesn't it? Let's make sure you're full. Because now they could rush the, uh, the green units. We can't have that. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, and Ivan K. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.